Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Vendillion Click and you guys might be asking why this card? Well this card symbolizes a lot. So obviously I could have Tamagoyf but that doesn't really get my point across because you know Tamagoyf is going to be reprinted. So I wanted to pick a card which we don't know if it's going to be reprinted or not. I mean it could be reprinted in Modern Masters 2 and tell you what I do with cards like this. So Vendillion Click is a $70 card right now, but if it's going to be reprinted in Modern Masters 2 or 2015, then its price will drop. Well, it should drop, I guess, would be what I would assume would happen to it, especially if enough of it is printed. Now, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can take a look. Now, a lot of you will probably ask the question, should I trade for a card which I know that could be reprinted, could not be reprinted? I mean, should I trade for this card? Now, this comes down to my opinion about how much use of this card are you going to get before a possible reprint announcement is made. And if the answer is you are going to play him in modern and you're going to take him to a tournament and you're going to have a good time with it, then yes, buy him now and use him because every time you use him, you get value from him. So, but if your answer is no, I just want to put him in my binder and not use it and just trade and hope it goes up in price, then the answer is no. No, you shouldn't buy this card. No, you shouldn't trade for this card if you're not going to use it. The problem with Vendillion Click and a lot of other cards like Noble High Arc, I'm just using Vendillion Click because it's what I had is that there's a likelihood the card will be reprinted. Now, if you're not using it and you're just holding it, then what would be the point of having it in your trade binder or having it at all when there's a huge danger, there's, there's little upside and a huge downside if it does get reprinted. Now, a lot of you will say Tamagoyf and stuff like that, but logically, think about Tamagoyf for instance. If Tamagoyf was not reprinted, it could easily hit go from 200 bucks, which it was, to 250 bucks to 300 bucks. So the reprint not only pushes the price down, it also makes sure the price doesn't go up, and that's the most dangerous part about it. It's not the price going down; it's that the price doesn't go up anymore. Fidelin Click, love the card. I have a playset of them. Um, I do play them in Legacy a lot and in EDH and Tiny Leaders. I actually have them. And very good card. But at $70, now is really not the time to buy him um, or trade for him unless you are going to use it and get value that way. And that's my feeling about most of the cards in Modern that can be reprinted. A lot of you ask me questions about that. If you are going to use it, Fine, trade for it, buy it, have fun with it. If you do not have any intention to use it and you are only trying to make money or for whatever reason it's you want to put them in your trade binder, do not get cards that can be reprinted. Upside extremely low, downside is massive compared to the upside of the card. Now if Vendillion Click is not in the set, maybe it goes up in price, but I highly doubt that since Goyf was in the set, I highly, highly doubt that Vendillion Click is not in the set. And I'm talking about somebody who owns a playset of this. Well, I would trade it and sell it if I believe it's going to go down. No, because I play with it and I get used from it. So when it does go down in price, I can justify and say, oh, well, I had a good time with it. And isn't that the point of Magic to play with the cards that you own? Anyway, that's my perspective about it because a lot of you have asked. If you want to play it, buy it, trade for it. If you want to speculate on it, now is really not the time to speculate on cards that could be reprinted in, what, four months from now? Or it wouldn't be a reprint. It would just be the announcement that would tank the price. So not worth it, in my opinion, if you're trying to make money from a card like Vendillion Click or Bob or especially Noble High Arc. Noble Hierarchy, if that card's not printed, I don't know what's going to be in Modern Masters 2.